Two months after a Wright County man disappeared, the man charged in his case faced a courtroom packed with family and friends. They came seeking justice and gathered for a brief prayer. 25-year-old Christopher Rossing was last seen near Howard Lake back in August. The Wright County Sheriff says that this case is now being handled as a death investigation. Investigators have found human remains at a rural Hutchinson farm where Robert Nuttall and his girlfriend Gwen Butcher live. Nuttall is the one who was in court today. Butcher has a court appearance scheduled for tomorrow. And Bill Hudson was at the courthouse. He's here right now to explain how it's gone from a missing person to a homicide investigation. It's getting more and more bizarre, you guys, absolutely. The two defendants, Butcher and Nuttall, shared a farmhouse outside of Hutchinson. Recently, a search warrant returned with bone fragments and teeth found in a fire pit on that property. Well, now forensic testing will help determine if the couple killed Chris Rossing and then burned up his body. Moments before the man charged in the kidnapping appeared before a Wright County judge, Christopher Rossing's friends appealed for justice, hanging banners in a show of support. We need to see their faces. Rossing's sister was joined by dozens of friends. They'd pack a courtroom where Robert Nuttall would face a judge. We're just praying for answers right now and holding on to hope that we're going to seek the justice that our family and, and the community is seeking right now. Rossing disappeared August 23rd after leaving a bar with Nuttall and Nuttall's girlfriend, Gwen Butcher. The two men got into a fight along Highway 12. And Rossing hasn't been seen since. In the last two months have felt like two years to our family. The break in the case came October 11th when burned bone fragments were found in a cornfield across the road from where Nuttall and Butcher live. A search warrant then discovered more fragments and teeth in a fire pit. Investigators believe more people know about Rossing's death and the cover-up and need to come forward. I encourage all of those people that might be out there that they contact the Wright County Attorney's Office uh, before the evidence that we follow leads to them and then we're knocking on their door. Father God, I ask you the name of Outside the courthouse today, a family grieves and friends pray for answers to their two-month-long nightmare. Now, Robert Nuttall is scheduled back in court for a contested omnibus hearing December 22nd. If Wright County prosecutors have positive identification on the bone and teeth fragments by then, well, of course, murder charges will also be filed. So they're still asking for the public's help. Mm -hmm. What do they need? What they really need at this point is to hear from some dentists because uh, any dentist who cared for Christopher Rossing, because the bones were burned so badly, it's difficult to get DNA evidence off those bones. So they really are turning to uh, teeth for uh, positive identification. So they need to hear from any dentist who may have cared for Chris Rossing. All right. Thank you, Bill. Sure thing.